Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Fran and Jay and the Hunt for the World's Best Sausage. I don't know what the theme tune is. Welcome to episode two of the Hunt for the World's Best Sausage. Um, if you haven't seen us before, episode one is up there. In front of my face, apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and we are trying to rank all the sausages in the world. Really. Every single one. Every single sausage you can think of. I mean, <laughs> That's is, the aim. <laughs> this is a lifelong ambition. I think it's going to take a while. <laughs> yeah. So last time uh, in episode one, we did English sausages because we live in England. They're the easiest ones to get hold of. The ones we know the best as well. Um, and you can see the rankings of those right here. There we go. As you can see, Cumberland at the top there, and then sort of, hope, hopefully, I'm pointing in the right place. The basic sausage, which is our sort of baseline, is there. So today we are going to Europe. I know England or Britain is just about to leave Europe, um, <laughs> just about but you know we still love you guys. So we're going to toast your sausages. However, there's a little twist. I don't think they are authentic enough. No, I don't think so either. Words like style or and inspired, or inspired by. by, they just don't really inspire the same confidence that you're gonna have an <laughs> actual like sausage. But like I said, we're going to taste every sausage. So we're gonna give these ones a go. And then what we can do when we can actually travel again, go and find the same ones in the place where they're actually from and see if they're that's a, fun, good. that's a fun thing to do. Yeah. So our first sausages are Italian style sausages. These are from M&S Select. 85% pork, it proclaims on the front in big letters. And 100% outdoor bread, which means happy pigs, like that. <laughs> the ingredients for this one are water, uh, gluten-free crumb, which is made out of ri rice flour. Oh, I've not seen that one yet. Chickpea flour, corn flour, salt and dextrose. Salt, roasted garlic, parsley, ground fennel, basil, and then some stabilizers. Some black pepper, lemon zest, ground ginger, ground nutmeg, and mace. Pimentos, what's pimentos? I have never heard of pimentos. Well, it's got some ground pimentos in as well. These ones are actually grilled. When we filmed our last episode, we didn't own a grill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we actually bought a grill. It's sort of a microwave grill oven combi thing. It's the first time I've actually used it. Um, and we had to cook them a bit longer than it said because I think it doesn't work quite the same as a regular grill. But now we can actually test sausages with all of the methods now. Right. Oh wow. That is a juicy one. That's a juicy one. Oh god, this... <laughs> the outer casing is pretty chunky. It's it, pretty tough. I think that's probably because we grilled it. Nah, than... that's right, that's probably what it is. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. They're very juicy, I just made a mess. I've left half the case on the sausage. <laughs> oh wow. I'm liking this one already. I am. I'm actually loving this. It's so juicy, I need a I need a <laughs> I need a thing. You're making a mess? Yes. <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm actually really liking this one. This is really tasty. Yeah. You can <laughs> taste a lot of pork and then all those the garlic oh the garlic. I mean I'm sorry, but if you have if you're making a meal and you have enough garlic in, then that makes it just next level awesome. Mm. So this is an awesome sausage. Wow. But that fennel is coming through quite mm. strongly as well. I am very happy with the sausage. Me too. That's yum. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this next one I'm quite excited about. Chorizo style sausages. Mm, so Spanish. Spanish? <laughs> Again, 85% pork, all nice and big on the label. Yeah, so these are also from M&S, part of the same range as the Italian ones. Which I think is a pretty good range. Yeah. This one has 85% British outdoor bread pork. Water, red peppers, gluten-free crumb, which is the same as the other one, the rice flour, chickpea, corn flour, salt and dextrose, ground spices, smoked paprika, paprika, black pepper, cumin, red chili peppers, sea salt, dried red peppers, tomato powder, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, dried oregano. A lot of ingredients. This is gonna be a good one. Okay, right. Let's chop this up and see how we go. 
Again. So again, these have been grilled. So they've probably got a bit of a, uh, a tougher casing. Look at the juice that's coming out as well. That is great. Babe, get stuck in. I am. Um... This is not something to mess around with. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what I was saying. There's a hint of chilli there. Well, that's the cayenne, isn't it? It came to me a little later than you. I was got that like smokiness to it as well. Yeah. That's the smoked paprika, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, that's... Oh, when it lingers. Hmm. <laughs> Lingering sausages. I mean, I could eat a lot of these. Yeah, I do too. I think we're going to have to as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of got that, that lift, you know, and kind of tastes like Spanish food, weirdly. It does, but it's not as chorizo y as a chorizo. No. But I mean, that's okay, we're going to do chorizo in a, in a future episode. Yeah. So now we're on to Toulouse inspired sausages. So this is not even a style of sausage, it's just. Someone went to Toulouse and said, hey, that looks cool. Let's use what they use. <laughs> put it in a sausage. This is from Sainsbury's Taste the Difference. British pork, 80%. Taste the Difference smoked bacon, 9%. Oh my God, so they separate the pork from the bacon. Wow, okay, so that's what, 89% meat, essentially. Yeah. Herbs, parsley, sage, marjoram, red wine. Red wine? Red wine, 2%. Wow, okay, this is the first one with alcohol in it. <laughs> Salt, garlic, pepper, and then some preservatives. So basically, some herbs, some garlic, and some wine. It's also gluten free, which is great. Be interesting to compare this to the Italian one because they both have garlic in them. Yeah, except that that one had lots of fennel in it, whereas mm. this one has red wine. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> fennel, red <laughs> wine. <laughs> I mean, in general, we'll see what it's like in a sausage, though. Yeah, we'll see what it's like in a sausage. It's slightly red. Yeah, but it's not that it hasn't been cooked. It's just that it's pink on the inside. Mm. This one's been cooked in the oven. Yes. And it was about, what, half an hour for this? Yes. I wonder if the pink is the caused wine? by the bacon or the, or the wine. Mm. In fact, there's quite the a wine. few stuff in here that could make mm -hmm. it pink. I, mean, I can taste the wine, eventually. Oh yeah, eventually. And the garlic. There's not as much garlic. See? No, it's not as powerful. You need more garlic. <laughs> <laughs> the flavours don't blow me away. I'm kind of, it's almost a bit bland. Mm. I'm not yeah. sure red wine works in a sausage. I'd rather just drink <laughs> it out true. of the glass. I mean, the red wine isn't coming out and saying, Hey, come and drink me. <laughs> Let's celebrate. I, I gotta say, while I was checking these in the oven, every time I opened up the oven door, it smelled incredible. Even when they were raw, yeah, they these smelled the best. Amazing. But, but the flavour is just... It was kind of, it was all in the air, really. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, the flavour has dissipated yeah. into the atmosphere. Which is sad. Number four today is breakfast. And we spent how long trying to find breakfast? A long time. You know this... <laughs> It's called the hunt for the world's best sausages. We went on a hunt. Eventually, we managed to find some in Lidl. <laughs> German supermarket. Why didn't I start there? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we did find some breakfast. Unfortunately, it wasn't the regular breakfast. It's chilli breakfast. So it's not going to be quite the same as a regular one. But I'm hoping it'll still be quite nice. Yes, it should be. I'm going to do the honours of the nutrition information. Yeah. So 78% pork. Pork fat, salt, spice, contains mustard, dried chilli peppers, black pepper extract, hmm. mace extract, what extract? Hmm. caraway extract, hmm. cardamom extract, wow, extract, chilli extract. extract, 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 filled into a natural pork casing. It was really weird when we took these out of the packet to fry them. Because they're kind of slight gelatinous and... Gloopy. Yeah. You, know, you pull it apart and these like... It's almost like one tries to stay together. No! Don't leave my friend! I don't worry, you'll cook together! <laughs> <laughs> Let's tuck it. Okay, well it looks quite yummy. Ooh, the fork goes through it a lot easier than the other. Oh my god, it smells good. Oh my god. I mean, it's called a chilli breakfast for a reason. Yeah. 
high. No, I like spicy food. And quite often, if you just put a bit of spice in it, I can't taste it, but this I can taste. This is like... So I don't know how you're coping. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very um, soft, squidgy sausage, right? Mm. It's not that dense, which I it's... think is a good thing, but that's the nature of a breakfast. Exactly. It's the sort of thing you might find in a hot dog. You, yes. want, you want a slightly squidgy and easier to get your teeth through. Yeah. You don't want to be wrestling with the sausage as it no. falls out the bun. Because then you end up with all the toppings all over the floor and everyone laughs at you. You see that happen with a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> I'm liking the chilli flavour though. That really comes through and it, it builds. It builds. Like, I'm dying a little bit here. If you had like two or three of these on your plate, you, you would know, need something to settle it. I, I mean, I could... Oh, yeah. It's in my nose now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to leave soon and like... Sort your, out the drip it. <laughs> is your nose running? Yeah. Better go catch it then. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> now we're on to something that's a little controversial. <laughs> it's a little bit of an imposter sausage. <laughs> Heck, chicken Italia. So first of all, it's a chicken sausage. No. First one that isn't pork? First one that isn't pork. Italia, they just say that because they put some Italian stuff in it. And their Italian stuff is tomato, mozzarella, basil and garlic. Okay, so it's essentially a Napoli pizza in a sausage. Yeah. Okay, British chicken, 85%, so packed with meat. Flour, or pea flour. Eight. It's, it's uh, gluten-free. It's almost peed in my sausage. That's even worse than the one I <laughs> <laughs> Seasoning, which consists of salt, rice flour, sugar, dried leek, preservatives. Spice. Leek? Yes, leek. Okay. Spice. That's all it says. Spice. It doesn't specify the spice? Spice. Spice. Natural flavourings, uh, oven dried... That's very broad. Yeah. Oven dried tomatoes, 2%. So now they're putting percentages next to the things, which I really like. Basil, 1%. Mozzarella cheese, 1%. So we fried these for 10 minutes. Chicken is a different type of meat, I suppose. So when yeah, you grind really it up, smooth. it's really densely packed. So far, my only experience of a chicken sausage is in the fried breakfast on an Emirates flight. <coughs> <laughs> Those are never good. <laughs> no, of course, because it's a Muslim airline, so they're not going to have pork, pork. anyway. Yeah. So that's the only time I've ever had a chicken sausage. Oh, well, there you go. Cheers. Cheers. Um. Is there anything else other than chicken in there? I can't taste anything. Mozzarella doesn't have a flavour. It's not like... No, that's a good point. It's not like cheddar. No. Or maybe that mozzarella mixed with the chicken that's been mushed to with an inch of its life. <laughs> um, just causes yeah. it to be more rubbery. Actually, that's the point. On the packet, does it say what type or what where the, on the chicken it's from? Is it like breast no, it or just thigh? Says or... It just says chicken. So it could be anything. We could be eating feet. Mm. But probably not because it's a heck sausage and they don't do that. This is on the lower end for me. Mm. I'm not happy with that. Yeah. Before we give our rankings, I'd like to thank you for watching so far. We'd really like to know what you'd like us to try next. What's your favourite sausage where you are? Let us know down in the comments and we'll consider it for a future video, if we can get hold of it. If you like what you've seen so far, do hit that like button, that's what it's there for. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. If you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified when we release the next episode. Right, it's time to rank them. Let's start with the Italian style sausages. I really like these. They were yum. Yeah, they had a lot of flavour, quite aromatic. Good like structure. Mm. And equally, maybe it's because they're from the same company, the chorizo style sausages were equally as good. I don't think we can differentiate between the two. No. I think they're gonna have to be a joint number. And I would go eight. Eight. I, yeah, I would, de I would definitely go eight for the Italian, but I think seven and a half for chorizo. Why? Because, because it's not a chorizo. Because it isn't a chorizo. Okay. It's a chorizo style sausage. It's so the Italian style sausage, we're going to rank an eight. And chorizo style sausages will rank a 7.5. What did you think of the Toulouse inspired sausages? 
I was very, very disappointed with these. They're up there with the Lincolnshire, aren't they? Like, yeah. smells amazing. Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh, that's a disappointment. They're the most delicious smelling of the ones we tasted today. Yeah. But the flavour just wasn't there in the mouth. Which is sad. Yeah. Because I had high hopes for that. You know, red wine and garlic, how can you go wrong with that? I mean, that's basically a gravy maybe, know, sausage. <laughs> maybe wine needs to stay in liquid form. So I think a six. Yeah, that's a fair That's a fair one. I'll go yeah. with that. Okay. Yeah. So they're going there. The Bratver Bratwurst. 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 The Bratwurst. I quite like those. I like them as well. They're very German. <laughs> <laughs> And I really like the chilli flavour of it. The chilli was insane. I, I was a bit um, hesitant because of all those extracts in the mm. ingredients, but they actually had qu quite a good flavour. They did. Them. Yeah, I really like them. I mean, they definitely were not the worst. <laughs> no! <laughs> so I think these are going to go between the chorizo and the Italian style. Okay, yeah, So that's like fair. a 7.7. .7. Good! Like that. Yeah. yeah, that Make sounds fair. Boom. 7.7 .7 chili breakfast. That's all I'm saying about it. Chicken Italia. <laughs> Why was that so bad? It was just everything about it, like the texture of the sausage, it was just very springy, rubbery. Yeah. I'm, just I'm, didn't work. I I'm gonna think. say really, something really controversial. I prefer Emirates version. Wow, plain food. I mean, I'm it's sorry, like... it's, it's gonna have to go below basic. I genuinely didn't think we were gonna find something that goes below basic. No, I at least too. not here to start with. But I think you're right. It does need to go below basic. I mean, I give it points for holding its shape while we cooked it. Mm, yeah. So four point five. I wanna go low. I wanna go four. Split the difference. 4.2. Okay, 4.2. I mean, they tasted like chickeny rubber. Yeah. Rubbery chicken. Here's how everything looks in the overall standings. The Cumberland retains its top spot. The positions 2 through 4 now occupied by the Italian, chili breakfast, and chorizo style. Toulouse is joint sick with the Lincolnshire, whilst the chicken Italia is bottom of the peck with its dismal score of 4.2 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Uh, do you agree with our rankings? Um, if not, or you do, just leave us a comment below. Bleep, bleep. Yeah. Um, and let us comment also on what else we should try. We're open for suggestions, as mm. always, because we don't mind trying anything. Actually, least... we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> if we can find it, that's the thing. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is like a proper <laughs> thick German sausage. And it's like butch and manly, which is totally not me. Not like the other sausages, which are like. French or Italian, I like it. Yeah, a little bit more perfumed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just do that. A bit more fancy.